What is up ladies and gentlemen, what dude over here? Today we're going to have a very short and quick video based on our draft and the end of the offseason. Let's start very quick with the Redskins first pick. It was Chase Young, baby. Ohio State defensive end. Now, I was going to start looking for trades for our pick, which was the second pick in the draft. Let's review our offers. I was looking at what I had. I was looking at Buffalo, but it was a 2021 draft pick. I was looking at Houston, but it was like a mid first round pick. I wasn't very interested in that. The ad included two more picks, but you know, I wasn't that interested in those picks for next year. So looking at Houston, looking at Seattle, you see it's, it's a 15th pick. I didn't want that. Oakland's 20th pick. Detroit is 2021, San Francisco 2021. So I decided to go to the prospects looking at our national champion quarterback, Heisman Trophy winner, Joe Burrow, looking at his attributes, like the main attributes. But then I decided to look at Justin Herbert and I usually run a lot. Also Tua, but Tua wasn't that focused on his throw on the run. So believe it or not, I skipped on Joe Burrow. Yep, I went with Justin Herbert. I went with the Oregon quarterback, strong arm, throw on the run, hidden potential. I, it says I reached, I know I did, but Tua went to Jacksonville. And I wanted Jerry Judy, but he went to Denver. Safety Grant Delpit from LSU went to Titans. CeeDee Lamb went to Oklahoma, to Detroit, and Joe Burrow went to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, interesting. Jake Fromm from Georgia, drafted by the Chargers. And I then went with my late first round pick and selected Alabama slot corner, Trevon Diggs. He is going to be my main slot cornerback. Trey Waynes will be the fourth string cornerback on the team. T Higgins, wide receiver from Clemson. I was interested in him. He went to the Saints. Alaric Jackson and Lucas Niang. Those were the top two right tackle prospects I was looking at. But Lucas Niang was based on power and he's 328 pounds. I went with him. Then at right guard, I went with Solomon Kinley from Georgia, also based on power, 335 pounds. That's going to be a very good right side line lineman duo. Najee Harris from Alabama, power back, 232 pounds. He was very a very good pick for me, in my opinion. Eighth pick in the third round, I went with linebacker, Michael Divinity Jr. I was looking for linebackers to substitute Nick Vigil, but I'm still going to have to use him. You'll see. Justin Jefferson, LSU champion, and a very good pick. He was like 50 picks before he was intent after he was intended to be picked. Sorry, my bad. And he's now a Bengal. J.R. Reed, safety. He's gonna be in our team now. K.J. Hamler, one of our new wide receiving threats. Wide receiver. He's speedy. He's he's small, but he's very fast. And it was a very good pick. Then I was looking for another cornerback. I went with Ohio State's Damon Arnett. He was a very good pick when it comes to the draft expectation from where he was supposed to be picked. Killen Hill, Mississippi State. I reached a little bit on that one, but I needed an elusive back. And here's the worst pick of the draft. <laughs> John Jenkins. Drafted a little bit too early. <laughs> And then Tiny Boob Squip. No, I'm not going with Tiny Boob. Sorry. I'm going to go with LSU kicker Mookie Kramer. He was a very good pick when it comes to the expectations of what he was supposed to be picked. And he was my last draft pick. He's a, here's a recap of our draft picks. Quarterback Justin Herbert, 75 overall. He's going to be making close to $10 million a year. Trevon Dix, cornerback, 75 overall. 95 speed is, oh my God, so good. Lucas Niang and Kinley, Najee Harris, Michael Divinity Jr., the champion, Justin Jefferson, the champion, J.R. Reed, the strong safety. He's not that good at speed, but I think I'm going to still use him as a starter. KJ Hamler, very good receiver, speedy receiver. Arnett. Killen Hill, John Jenkins, and Mookie Kramer. Those are all our draft picks. And then, backup quarterback, Blake Bortles. 
Welcome to Cincinnati. Blake Borders is going to be our backup quarterback. Of course, I don't want to start him. So <laughs> I then went and released Joe Dolagala. Jake Dolagala, sorry. 54 overall quarterback. Don't need him. Travion Williams. I wasn't to release one of my five running backs or six running backs. So he is being released. Then I went to our wide receivers. Put Justin Jefferson at the slot. Trevon, Trevon Diggs. Trevon? Trevon? Trevon Diggs. He's going to be our slot cornerback. Third string cornerback, sorry. J.R. Reed. I put him over Sean Williams, even though Sean Williams is a high overall. But I think, I think he's going to be very good for us. Then a kicker. I decided to keep Randy Bullock. I don't think Mookie Kramer is still there to be our kicker. Matt Bosher, a free agent sign, a free agency signing, is going to be our punter. And Trevon Diggs, our rookie cornerback, is going to be our returner. Mookie Kramer is going to be our kickoff specialist, though. Najee Harris is going to be our power back. 88 speed for a power back is very good. Antonio Brown is going to be officially our slot receiver, like I said in the previous video. These are going to be our defensive ends, defensive tackles, and the sub linebacker is going to be Ryan Shazier. Our slot corner is going to be Denard. Morgan Fox, free agent, 72 overall, 25 years old. I see, I see some playing time for him and our team. And then 24-year-old Michigan, free safety, 24-year-old, like I said, free safety, 67 overall. Lane O'Hill is going to be our backup free safety. This is our team for next season. Justin Herbert at quarterback. Joe Mixon with Najee Harris and Mark Walton Jr. He was a free agency signing from me. Seathan Carter is going to be our free, our fullback. Those are receivers. Ozoma and Tyler Eifert is going to stay in the team. Jonah Williams went from 70 overall to 76 last season. Very good improvement. He's going to be our left tackle. Cordy Glenn is going to be our center. I didn't find any centers on free agency. And <clears throat> there were not very good draft selections for center. Those are our defensive ends, our defensive tackles. Michael Divinity Jr. is going to be our left outside linebacker. Ryan Shaysier with Jeremy Pratt. And Nike Vigil will be our right outside linebacker. Our corners, our free safeties, our strong safeties. Randy Bullock, our kicker. Matt Bosher, our punter. And Trevon Diggs, our kick returner and punt returner. As well as Mookie Kramer, our kickoff specialist. Now, guys. This is it for our off season. Let's head straight into the preseason. First game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's head into that game. Next episode, I'm going to play every preseason game. That's it for today. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Hasta la vista, baby. Wait.